babies i'm back with a new video I'm back on the video and today's video is going to be a fast, simple and cute way to do a high puff ponytail on big chopped hair. So basically, before I start the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know I'm lit on these sides. So before I start this video, I think I cut my hair not even a month ago and my hair is extremely growing, like it's growing so fast. Um, when I chopped my hair, my hair was black, my natural hair is black. Um... And then I bleached it the same day I big chopped my hair. So the main goal of me big chopping my hair was to basically, you know, look different and to grow back natural, basically. So it was like I wanted to be transformed, basically. So that same day I bleached my hair and it was like a goldish and I wanted to dye pink. But it didn't come out pink. So it came out like a goldish reddish. I'm going to show you. So basically it came out like that and how to explain it i had to wait until i actually dyed my hair pink so you know days went by no weeks went by and i finally dyed my hair which is now it's pink so i bought the dye in walgreens because in st thomas it don't really have a lot of options to go to because it don't have pink in st thomas is like down here we don't wear colors we don't wear purple like we don't we don't we in like the states like we could wear anything if you wear a color down here you get blast basically so i went wild greens that's the only place i was able to find pink dye and i found it and i dyed but basically the dye is is different like it's not the type of dye that you could spread it around your hair it's the type of dye that when you put it, it's like a full coloring. You know how full coloring is so strong? Like if you touch it or what's not, it's going to stick to your skin or stain your skin. So that's the type of dye I had. So I dyed my hair and one bottle wasn't enough. So I had to go back to wild greens or what's not and get next one. And when I got the next one or whatever, my mother put it in my edges because the other time when I had dyed, bleached my hair, my edges was blonde. And then you could not see it, so I had looked bald. So now I bleached my hair, I mean I bleached, I dyed my hair and now it's pink. But basically, the dye dyed my skin. So it's, it's, it was worse. It was worse, believe me. It was way worse, but I was able to, you know, I was able to wash it out and scrub it. It's coming off slowly. I just want, I don't mind like if... The scalp inside is dyed, but I mind that it's close to my edges because you're not able to see the parting of the edges, but it's going slowly. Um, the other problem with the dye is it colors my hand. Mine, the dye is permanent. It you does not you don't see no fading or nothing, but it's just this this is annoying. Um but other than that, my hair is growing rapidly. Um my hair is very healthy. I cut all my straight ends and what's not but enough about my hair don't mind this in the video guys like i said my my skin is dyed okay so without further ado let me get into this video so some things you will need is a toothbrush for your edges you will also need a pick to detangle your hair you will also need any type of moisturizer to untangle your hair a hard brush a comb for your edges as well and you will also need a water bottle with a shoe tie to tie your hair gel and you will also need two pins right now I'm basically wetting my hair so it could be like damp I don't want it wet wet but I want it damp. wow I say wet wet anyways so I want my hair to be like semi wet and then I will put conditioner basically to soften up my hair and get curls but my hair is different my hair is weird it does not curl um if necessary add more water and more conditioner 
to soften it up to detangle it. And now you'll get your pick to detangle your hair. Now apply gel to all sides of your hair, front, back, edges, side, front, back, edges. <laughs> Now get your shoelace and tie it in the back like a knot and like tighten it while you push it back so it could be like a tight slick back ponytail. So you could basically pull your puff as big as you want it like right here I could have leave it there but I choose to have a smaller puff so I tighten it even more and now you're going to tie it in the back and use those two pins to pin down the extra shoelace that's hanging so now i'm doing my edges um i'm taking out my baby hairs and i'm gonna just swoop them to the side basically So basically the other ones wasn't coming out as I wanted to so sometimes it does not work out so you have to change your plans basically. After doing your edges, now you get your pick and puffing out that part. And here are the results. And that's all for the video. I hope you guys love this video. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you guys for watching. Hey, 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 girl, can't take it. Yes, she